Hey everybody, Dom here. In this video, we're going to talk about why you should stop listening to YouTubers when it comes to coding advice. Now, this is a controversial video, I know, and I am a YouTuber, so it's like kind of a little bit contradictory, but I really just wanted to uh, get uh, provide my opinion on this because I've been reviewing my comment section recently and a lot of the questions have been it's like, oh, Donald, you know, you're doing mobile development. Should I do mobile development? Seems that you're having success with it. And while, yes, I am having success with it, that doesn't necessarily mean that you should do it. And that's the reason for making this video is a lot of people end up getting into the trap where they listen to their favorite YouTuber and they just simply become blatant copies of what they are. Now, there's one thing to be said about this in terms of, you know, you tend to subscribe to whoever's beliefs that you believe in. So, for example, if you were more, uh, if you were more catered towards, say, back-end development, you would naturally listen to more back-end YouTubers, right? And then if you were more interested and more, uh, more into web development, you would probably be subscribed and listen to more of the web development tutorials and, of course, if you're interested in mobile development, then, you know, you're probably more likely to subscribe to channels like mine who talk about mobile development. So, the reason why I'm making this video is for those of the, you that are getting into the scene and you just don't know what to do, right? There's a lot of information out there, you're not really sure what to learn, and I just wanted to make a video on some of the things that I think you guys would find helpful to help you along the journey and really choose something that you enjoy because that's the most important part, right? A big thing is people want a job, people want the money, which is fair, right? We all do, right? But at the end of the day, when you're learning to code, this is a hard skill that you need to learn, right? So what you need to do is you need to find something that allows you to tolerate the hard, right? Let me give you an example here. So everybody, well, so let's say you want to run a marathon. The best parts about running a marathon is the beginning and the end, right? The beginning because you're you're telling all your friends, it's like, oh, I'm going to run a marathon. It's going to be so awesome. I'm going to run a 25K. And at the end, you know, while you're crossing the finish line, you got your hands up. You got that, uh, that strip of tape that you're going through. That's the, that's the uh, enjoyable part, right? But what successful people do is they master the things in between, right? You know, while you're running that marathon, you know, your legs are tired, you know, your body's tired, you're out of breath, you feel dehydrated, the sun's too hot, the ground's too, the ground's too hot, you know, your feet are hurting, you're getting all that lactic acid buildup. That's one that the most successful people, not just coders, not the people who learn to self-teach themselves, that's the thing that they master. They master that in-between stuff, the actual learning, right? And I think a lot of people, what they do is they follow tutorials and they want everything handed to them. But what you need to master is you need to master the uh, in-between area whatever that might be, whether that's web development, whether that's mobile development, whether that's backend, it doesn't really matter. What you need to do is you need to choose something that you have interest in. So what you would want to do is see what you, what things are out there in the world would you find to be really cool that you wish you had in your life that would provide value to yourself, right? Let's just say that I'm an even motorcyclist, right? And I wanted a, I wanted a camera app, for example, that would help me to, would help me to calculate the amount of seconds in between my motorcycle and the second car, because obviously the more distance you have in between uh, the car and your front, if they do a sudden break, you know, you have time to react, you have time to adjust and adjust your lane position, uh, take your escape routes, or even an app to uh, determine what your escape routes are, right? So in that case, you know, a web development app might not be a good idea. Backend might not be a good idea. You probably go with the mobile development solution, right? So that's an example. 
Think of what you want to build in the world and try to figure out how to do it. When I was learning how to code, this was literally one of the most effective ways to do that. And of course, there are things in between that I did not understand, right? I didn't understand how to do this. I go to Stack Overflow, I go to ChatGPT, you know, they spit me a solution. I wouldn't understand it. And then I do research on that solution and see what they were actually doing. It's like, oh, they're using a generic here. You know, generic is a part of Swift, for example. You know, it's a way to kind of reuse code, you know, if you're using a lot of parse data, but that's not the point of this video. But, you know, you determine that and you determine, okay, how do I use that? And how do I use that in this app in general, right? And that's really how you do it. And that's really how you master it. Now, you know, I went a little bit on a tangent, but the point I'm getting here is stop listening to YouTubers find what you are passionate about and what you want to do and then attempt to build those that's the most effective way to learn and it doesn't really even matter what you're actually building so i hope that video helped if it did leave me a like leave me a comment tell me what you thought about it in the comment section below and make sure you hit the subscribe button as it really helps support the channel and lets me know that you enjoyed this video and encourages me to keep making content like this so without further ado, and I'll see you in the next video.